G'day guys, welcome to the episode. Today I'm with Dante. Hey, how are you? From the boat camp episode, he came to the fab with me when I got that dolly. If you watch the episode, you can click up here or wait till the end, I'll put it then. But yeah, we're at the island today and it's a packed day, Sunday. It's always packed on a Sunday. There's probably about 30 to 50 boats out here. We're just trawling right now. Got two deep divers out. It's pretty shitty this morning sickness. But yeah, we do have a fair few liveies we caught just before. And bait and jigs and Oh, we're feeling pretty lucky. Like we feel like we're gonna get some fish because we do have a fair few liveys, and that's what we were lacking last time with, with um, Louis and Cameron. So yeah, we'll troll for a bit, and then if we get nothing, we'll come in the middle of these boats and put some liveys and some jigs down. But yeah, we're pretty keen to get amongst it and hopefully get some good fish. You for the livey, we've just got a little sinker snap silver to a small circle hook. We've got a few different liveys. We've got some big slimies, some small yakas, some small slimies. And I'm just going to pick one that I can get. Straight through the nose. And he's just going to swim. The little sink will keep him down. I did do my first FG knot, some of you might have saw that. But, you know, I've never done FG knots, so <laughs> hopefully it will hold. Don't want to lose another king. You guys have seen too many lost opportunities. Put him down a little bit. And give the rod holder. I'm just going to pick my livey because that's the best rod we got on board today and we might have a little jig or soft plastic rod for that. Phew. Wish us luck. That day's on, first fish. Better be a good one. So the GoPro on the front stuffed up, I don't know how much of this, how much of the fight it got, but first bonito, first fish on the livey. Not a bad fish, it's not what we're after, but we'll keep him good feed if we don't get any kingies. Oh, three fish already, let's go. <laughs> he saw the boat, he's not happy. <laughs> Fully 60. I'm telling ya, the most fun you'll have with your pants on. Holy moly. <laughs> yes, 20 pound Brady. Be light on it. Last one, I lost. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it is going ham. I can feel the race shift. Can you? Yeah. Come on, get out. Got him. When I see colour chuck yours in the rod holder. Yeah. Oh colour colour. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Can't see the screen. Let's try head first. It's still going, the screen is terrible. Oh, that's solid. Put the camera down, hold up. I'll hold it, I'll hold it. You got it? Yeah. Well, you get some Die for the vlog, man. <laughs> oh my god, he didn't like that. Alright, when you get him up high enough, swap you. Okay. You got some someone coming up. Watch here, you're gonna touch the button here. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's on the fully six stick. Teamwork, it's not the biggest dunk, but I think he's legal. Yeah, finally. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> yes. Oh, on the jig. That's what we like to see. Let's measure him. 
Oh, he's just legal. <laughs> 65 on the dot. 65 on the dot. First legal kingy for the fully 60. Oh, it's been a long time coming. You guys saw me lose that awesome fish a while back on January. But oh, 65 on the dot. I'm stoked. He's a fat one, so he's come home with us. <laughs> yes. Frothy. Good fish. Dante's on. Good fish. Yeah. No ice. Oh, no. Might be a body. One legal, one rat. <laughs> well, they're both rats, but one's legal. Don't doubt Chucky's back. How big was it? 60 or something? Yeah, 60. A froth that's good. Phew! They're on the yeah. keys. Nice little healthy rat, 63, we'll send him back. Two seconds in on the livey, just smashed him. Get him back straight in. Livey on again, that went hard. That's a good fish, man. Hello! <laughs> Give it some, you can give it some. What pound lead you got on this one? 100. <laughs> you can tie them drag if you want. Just don't let it hit that reef. Test my knots, test my knots, mate. It's coming but, close to your jig. Yeah, I know, I'm going to wind up there. Yeah, boy. <laughs> How hard did that run? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. There's a bit of colour. Bit of colour down there, good fish. Oh yes, good fish. That's legal. That's a fatty. Oh, shit. 67 on the livey. We had a big, big slimy out there. And he's a, he's a fatty, healthy fish. Shot Jeez. a bit of a mark there, but yeah, we'll, we'll bleed him, kill him and put him straight on the ice. Oh, that went hard. Hear that first run. <laughs> That's too nasty, but frothy. We just had some lunch and trolling around for a bit. It's been about an hour since the last kingy. Still trying. We moved over to the side, away from all the boats, to see if there's any out here, but no luck. You might even jump in for a dive in a bit, but yeah, we'll head steam back to those boats down there and then use our last live in jig for a bit and then the Savo will get in the water. Yeah. Still hooked up on the jig. Yeah, can I call you back? <laughs> <laughs> Dade's on the phone. I don't think it's very big. It might even be a bonito. Yeah, right, but it's good that we're away from all the boats. Oh. All right, back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Dante's on, we're just about to move. Wrong. Blue <laughs> on the cheek. <laughs> yeah, it's sorted. Good little bike catch. Quickly jump in, see the seals, might give them a quick quick and easy feed. But they're just so playful, I just love getting in with them. I know fishermen out here hate them because they always take fish, rightfully so, but they, they do get annoying. But swimming with them, it just doesn't get old for me, so I'll jump in and just play around for a little bit, see in the water. For someone to save me from all of the things in my past, I do anything just to make it stop. Yeah. Tired of sitting and waiting, but every time I open up, there's always someone who lets me down. So give me pain, give me pleasure, I don't mind, it's whatever, all I want is someone to love. Ease my mind, give me headache, I don't care, it's whatever, all I want is someone to love. Someone could wake me up. Yeah. Binge watching romantic movies, the ones with the happy end. Hoping that someday I'll find the one. So give me pain, give me pleasure. I don't mind, it's whatever. All I want is someone alive. Ease my mind, give me headache. I don't care. It's whatever. Just got in the boat ramp. Well, I was gonna go for a dive and try and get some craze, but the wind picked up heaps, kind of got cold, and I was like, stuff it. We'll just go in, we need to fill it some fish. It's about an hour drive to get home, so. Here was our catch today. So we started off with some dog slimy mackles. You guys obviously saw them. And we're gonna try them. We're both gonna give them a go, see what they're like. You know, they could be actually all right, Shashimi. We gutted and gilled them, bled them straight away. Um, but yeah, we'll give them a go. Two nice size kingies and a nice bonito, so it's all fresh fish and the bonito and kingies are so good. I don't know about the slime mackerels, but we'll, we'll try. But yeah, happy with the kingies. They're not huge, but nice and fun on, like you, I got mine on the jig and Dante got his on the Saragossa live bait, but yeah, heaps of fun. Awesome day out there. We'll fill these up, bag them up and wings, belly flap, everything. Nothing's gonna be wasted. Back down at the spot. You guys know the spot. A sex trail almost got stuck then. Oh, no, it didn't almost. It got through it easy. <laughs> it definitely struggled a little bit because I reversed the car all the way through here. So that's why it almost got stuck. You can see it's dug down in the mud. 
but she made it she made it and today i'm going to cook up some of that kingfish so i kept the 65 centimeter one dante kept his six actually i didn't even check but one, they were so close it didn't really matter dante filleted his and then i took mine home and i actually cut it into steaks you guys will see it it's cutting straight down the fish through the backbone instead of taking the fillets off you waste no meat and yeah i've never kind of cooked kingfish like this I remember having it when I was way younger with my first ever kingfish I caught. I would have been about 10 or 12, and that's the only time I've ever done it. And then since then, I've kind of just filleted all fish. I cut cut down in the steaks, leave the skin on, you leave the bones in, you just take the guts out, and that's about it. And I brought the wings as well because you guys know I love the wings. And yeah, I guess we'll get started. It's simple cook-up today, just pan-fried in butter but yeah it's something different for me instead of just filleting bread crumbing so i'll start setting up now and yeah i'll put the table out and get everything ready it's gonna be a tasty cook up this is my lunch i did go for a dive earlier today and that will be in a different episode and yeah so this is my lunch i'm hungry so here's my kingfish steak you can see it's cut through the fish still got the skin and the scales on and yeah i haven't really changed anything just cut straight down and the wings of course that's part of the fish in my opinion, but the steak's gonna be good. Crispy skin, salt and pepper, cooked in butter. I don't know how you can beat that. Anyway, it's pretty damn easy to start. Bit of pepper, rub that in. I don't even like pepper, <laughs> but I always put it on for some reason. Put a bit of salt on as well. That's it, they're ready to go. That's as simple as what I'm gonna do today cook that up let's go I've just brought my small gas cooker today just a bit easier start that up I'm just gonna put heaps and heaps and heaps of butter in and the aim of today <laughs> is to not freaking burn it there a bit of butter I kind of want to like just soak it in the butter so it will just cook real nice in the butter and not burn hopefully but no promises. And while this is heating up, I just want to tell you guys, if you've got any suggestions what you want me to cook or catch and cook, let me know in the comments. I will take it into account and I'll read all the comments. You guys know that. All right, that's going straight in, in the middle. It's going to take a bit longer than the wings, so I'll put it in earlier. That looks damn good. <laughs> the fish is really thick, so hopefully I can leave a bit in the middle that's not very cooked and then the outside's nice and crispy. The main part of today is cooking the steak. I brought the wings because I thought I'd still be pretty hungry. This is my lunch. Cook the wings up as well. I tuck the wings in and it's almost ready. That piece is looking absolutely delicious. I just turned the gas cooker off and let it cook for a tiny bit longer as it cools down. Just pack this stuff away and we are ready to go. It started breaking away as I was cooking, which usually means it's cooked nicely and that's that belly flat bit which is just so good there's the wings I'll show you guys wow oh, that smells so good all right it's time for a taste test i already know it's going to be delicious because i've had kingfish and kingfish wings before so that's a no-brainer, but I do want to try the steaks and see how well they taste just with salt and pepper and butter. So it's going to be interesting. Right before I do that, State of Origin tomorrow night. Go the Blues and Queensland. I'm only joking. Good luck to Queensland and New South Wales tomorrow night. I know there's, there's probably some Queensland fans watching right now and probably some New South Wales fans, but go the Blues. All right. I didn't forget. I didn't forget anything. I don't think I... This is the first episode I've never forgotten something. Oh, that is so good. Flaky. Steaky. That is honestly absolutely delicious. That is good. Crispy skin. That crispy skin, didn't scale it, didn't skin it. You gotta try it. If you catch a key, 
Well, I know you can do it with Coral Trout as well, but here, the New South Wales boys. Hey, girls. Leave the skin on. That is so good. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to finish my lunch today. Cheers, Dante, for coming. And fully six stick. If you want one, contact Complete Angle Bateman's Bay. Don't contact me. Well, I mean, you can if you want, but I'm just going to forward you to Complete Angle Bateman's Bay because he handles it. It's an awesome rod and reel. So much fun. So much. Oh, they're just so fun. Anyway, if you want one, contact him. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, everyone, for watching. Don't forget, follow the Instagram at offshore underscore underscore adventures. And these new shirts. Your beauty coming out soon, so keep your eye on that. And yeah, see you next time. You. That was a lot to remember. Any luck? Yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm a fully sixty. I didn't realise I was actually half sixty. Still recording. Still recording. Oh shit. I just turned the gas cooker off. Final bit of cooking while it heats. I just turned the gas cooker off. And put it... it easily breaks away from the bones. You don't have to worry about getting bones in your fish. Maybe you do have to worry about it.